Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho and to keep cats entertained, we need to provide mental stimulation and enrichment. Cats need to play, hunt, climb, scratch, perch, hide, and rest. These are all natural behaviors of all cats, so we need to provide all of this enrichment and mental stimulation to keep our cats entertained indoors. The best way to keep your cat entertained, especially when you're not home, is get a window perch. Or you could put your cat's condo or tree next to the window. The window is basically like TV for cats. It serves endless entertainment. Even if your view stinks, cats love looking outside. They like to watch the birds. Maybe there's a bug on the window or there's people walking by. Cats love to be by the window. So people watch, watch over their territory, and they also like to catch a nap in the sun. Jericho loves his window perch. He naps on it every single day. He spends some time in the sun, and then he also watches all of the birds fly around. This video is not sponsored, but I've included affiliate links to these products in the description below. I like this window perch the most because there are no power tools required. I live in an apartment, so I can't really install anything that requires nails or screws. This window perch comes with a soft memory foam pad and a washable cover. It attaches to the windowsill with hook loop fasteners and these metal legs. And I also put the ledge on Jericho's condo for added support. Clients and friends have told me that their cats didn't really like the hammock suction cup looking type window perches. They said their cats didn't use it. I believe it's because cats prefer to walk on a hard, stable, flat surface so if it kind of moves around and it's a little unstable when your cat walks on it he's not going to be comfortable using it and therefore he's not going to use it but this window perch is flat and there's a hard stable surface of wood underneath the memory foam and again I rest the ledge on the condo so that it has extra support as well as those metal legs and of course I check the sturdiness of it weekly because Jericho likes to jump from the window perch all the way to the top of his ladder He's a very rambunctious boy. <laughs> Cat furniture is amazing for entertainment, enrichment, and mental stimulation. Try to buy cat furniture that satisfies multiple needs, especially if you live in a small space. That way you spend your money on one thing and that one thing can provide a lot of entertainment to your cat. For example, we have the cat ladder. I put it up against the window, so there's one form of entertainment right there. Plus Jericho climbs, scratches, perches, naps, and even plays on the ladder. I put toys on the different stairs levels so that he can paw around at them and play. And then I also hide treats on his ladder when he goes hunting for them. So this one piece of furniture satisfies six different enrichment needs. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Another great furniture piece to have is a private bed for your cat. Cats like to cuddle up and they like to be warm. This is actually a two-in-one bed. So right now the top part is folded down, but I can open that up and then it becomes a little secluded cave. So you see what I mean? It, it has more than one function. It can do more than one thing. So that's going to help when your cat gets bored or if you want to change it up. And I always have this next to me while I work. Jericho likes to, to be with me. I also put it next to the window so he can catch some sun. And even though Jericho sleeps in bed with me every night, even though he naps with me, I still have little private beds for him because they like to cuddle up and be cozy and get into that safe and secure place. So he can rest in this and then he can also use it as a hiding spot if I have it opened. And having private secluded beds is another great way to keep your cat entertained when you're not home. So maybe your cat wants to snuggle up, you're not home, he can go to his nice warm cozy bed. Another must have cat furniture piece is a scratching post. All cats scratch, this is a natural behavior, they scratch to shed dead layers of the claws. They also scratch to relieve stress and they also do it to mark their territory and they scratch when they're excited. All cats scratch so of course you need to provide proper scratching areas, teach your cat how to use it and that's going to save your furniture from claw marks. And please 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 never declaw your cat. This is a serious amputation of the toe not just the nail. A human version of declawing would be 
be like losing the tip of your finger. So again, this is an amputation of not just the claw, you also take a portion of your cat's toe in the process. Some of my cat sitting clients, they adopted a cat, they were already declawed. My mother adopted a cat, he was already declawed. They still want to scratch. This is a natural instinct that all cats have. So now imagine what it's like for a cat. He wants to relieve some stress, so he goes to scratch, but he can't because there's there's nothing for him to use to scratch. Talk about stress. And this can also create behavioral issues. You know, they have a lot of pent up stress that they can't release. So again, please do not declaw your cat. Get proper scratching areas, teach your cat how to use it, and trim those claws regularly. Another fun piece of cat furniture that Jericho loves is his tunnel. This specific one is super long and sturdy. Jericho loves to run through it while we're playing. You can toss toys through the tunnel or alongside the tunnel for your cat to run. This will encourage him to run around and become more active and thus will keep him more entertained. Mine and Jericho's favorite activity center is the Ripple Rug. We play on this every single day. Jericho plays on the Ripple Rug by himself and he also plays on the Ripple Rug with me. You can hide toys and treats inside the Ripples to simulate the hunting experience and you can tease wand toys around the Ripples as well. This is great for mental stimulation and for keeping your cat entertained and an excellent way to get your cat to play. The Ripple Rug is designed specifically for cats so your cat can scratch, hide, rest, hunt, and play all on these rugs. You can machine wash them and it's easy to roll up if you need to save some space, put it away when you're done playing. Hunting for treats is a really fun way to keep your cat entertained indoors. This is another wonderful way to simulate the hunting experience indoors. So we have to take a little bit of your cat's wild side, bring it indoors. That's how you can keep him entertained and happy. So Jericho looks forward to his hunting for treats routine every day. I break up some freeze dried minnows, hide them on glass jar lids around the apartment. As I mentioned, inside the rebel rug, on top of condos, inside of his beds, really anywhere they fit. So your cat has to use his senses, you know, sniff out the treats and then look around for them, maybe do some pawing action, and then he's rewarded for his hard work. You can also use puzzle toys or foraging mats to hide treats. So again, your cat will have to do a little nose work, pawing around, working for his reward. That's great entertainment and mental stimulation. You can buy puzzle toys or tree release toys, or you can make your own with toilet paper rolls. Just find a fun way for your cat to work for his food or treats, and that's going to provide a lot of mental stimulation and keep your cat entertained. And of course, playing with your cat is a great way to keep your cat entertained. It's great for bonding, it's healthy exercise, so it's really good for both of you to play with your cat. Playing with your cat also simulates the hunting experience indoors. The indoor version of hunting is playing. I've tested hundreds of cat toys and found that cats prefer toys made with natural materials like wool, cotton, hemp, fur, feathers, soft natural materials like that mimic gray in appearance and texture. We know it's a toy, but your cat sees it as prey. And again, the indoor version of hunting is playing. And if you're someone that says, my cat doesn't like to play, I've heard this so many times, just give it some time, patience, dedication, make it a routine and use the right tools. You can check out this video right over Mia for the exact steps of how I get Jericho to play with me every single day. Thanks for watching.